Welcome to how to record PPP loan forgiveness in QuickBooks Desktop. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. Uh, so I did a previous video on how to do this in QuickBooks Online, and I wanted to show you how to do this in QuickBooks Desktop. Okay, so you have your PPP loan, and you have applied for forgiveness, and you just got a uh, notification that the PPP loan was forgiven. So you have to go in and record this in QuickBooks. Okay, so if you've watched one of my other previous videos or you know, maybe you haven't, but you already have your PPP loan recorded in your QuickBooks file, it should be set up as a liability. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here to the balance sheet and just show you. If we look down here, I've got a liability set up as PPP loan. Okay, so when you got the money, uh, it was, in this example, $75,000. You got this money and you deposited it in your bank account and uh, it would be set up as a liability. In this example, this is set up as a long-term liability PPP loan, $75,000. So when you get it forgiven, you have to move this uh, off of your balance sheet so it is no longer a liability because you don't owe this money anymore. Okay, so in the latest stimulus package, they came out and said that, okay, uh, the forgiven PPP loan is not income, and you can also deduct the expenses associated with that loan. Okay, so the rent, uh, the payroll, the utilities, et cetera, that you use to get forgiveness that you spent this money on is uh, you can deduct those expenses and the forgiven amount is not considered income. So the question comes up, okay, where do we put this? How do we record this in our accounting records? And I'm gonna show you uh, what we've been telling our clients to do uh, and our recommendation of how to record this. Okay, so again, we've gotta get this off of the balance sheet. Okay, so now this gets um, a little bit complicated if you're not familiar with journal entries, but I'm gonna walk you through this. All right, so first of all, what we wanna do is we wanna go up to the company drop-down menu and you're gonna see an option here that says make general journal entries. Okay, so you're gonna click on that and it's gonna bring up this screen. And this is why it gets a little confusing is because you've got debits and credits and, you know, and, and a lot of times this gets very confusing for people. Okay, so we're going to put in the date. We're going to say it's 12-15-2020 that we got our forgiveness. Okay, the entry number. Uh, you don't need to put an entry in here. Typically, we will put our initials within our firm of who's doing a journal entry. Okay, so whatever you put in there, you could put that in there. All right, so first of all, we're going to go to the account, and this is going to be PPP loan. All right, we want to zero out this balance. And to zero out a liability, you're going to, going to debit the liability. Okay, so we're going to say 75000 And we are going to say to reflect PPP loan forgiveness. Okay. All right, we don't need a name. Uh, if you do class tracking, you, of course, can put in your class tracking. But now we need our next account. Okay, so I'm going to set up a new account. So I'm going to hit my drop down menu and I'm going to say add new. And we are going to put this as other income. Okay, and I'm going to explain this in a minute. So this other income account, I'm going to skip the account number. So let's not worry about that. We're going to call this non taxable PPP loan forgiveness. Okay. We want to make sure that we are signifying that this is non-taxable income. Okay, so this will still show up on our profit and loss as other income. But the important thing is there's going to be adjustment on your tax return that shows it as non-taxable. All right, so if you're a Schedule C business, it just won't show up at all. If you are a partnership or an S corporation, there is an adjustment that's done on the tax return to show it as income on your books but not taxed on your tax return. And this is gonna become very, very important. So you wanna make sure that if you're doing your tax return or if, if you have somebody preparing your tax return, that they know that this is non-taxable PPP loan forgiveness. Okay, so we're gonna hit save and close and the journal entry will automatically balance. So it'll put a credit in there uh, and balance this journal entry. Okay, so I'm gonna hit save and close. All right, so we'll see what it does here. You'll see that the, 
the PPP loan is no longer on the balance sheet. All right. Now, of course, this is as of 2023. That's okay. It doesn't show up anymore. It's gone. But now we want to go over to the profit and loss. Okay. And I'm going to do this uh, from 1 1 2020. And my guess is because this is a sample file, it's only going to have this non taxable PPP forgiveness because it has data in 2023. Okay, but now you can see that this shows up on your P&L. So if there was other activity in 2020 in this sample company file, you'd have your, your revenue, your cost of goods sold, your expenses, etc. And then at the very bottom of the P&L, you're going to have this other income, non-taxable PPP loan forgiveness. Okay, so we want to signify again, uh, separate this out from other revenue so it doesn't show up as uh, you know, revenue from operations. And we want to make sure that we don't include it in taxable income when we prepare the tax return. Okay. So pretty straightforward. You just want to make sure you get it off your balance sheet, put it over as other income, and you should be good to go. And you make sure you signify that it is non-taxable PPP loan forgiveness. All right. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Also head over to the QuickBooks University, have a fantastic training over there. And I also answer your personal questions at qbuniversity.org.